What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Got another movie reaction for you. Continuing the Purge series. You the gotta Purge keep going. Election year. Yes. One thing I'm really intrigued with this series so far is the first movie was simple. It was self-contained, a house, a family, and then some outside stuff and some neighbors coming in and throwing the whole plan into haywire and causing all kinds of chaos. The second movie, we got to see what the city was like, being out and about and just what like nuts. Yeah. Just seeing what's going on in the city during Purge Night is absolutely insane. And constant theme, obviously, through these first two movies a lot of dumb people making a lot of really dumb decisions. Right. Very, very clear theme. And the deaths and the just so creative. Very. Insane. Loving the masks on Purge Night. Oh, yeah. I like how everyone seems to have these rituals when they go out on Purge Night. We they see, get dressed like, up and everything. Yeah, so wild. And just seeing these parties and what the rich folks are doing and like the buying people and putting on these shows. So insane. And this one's election year. The fact that they're going to bring like the politics into it is a really creative way, I feel like, to continue the story because how many different ways can you tell a purge story? Right. And I'm super intrigued to see what this is all about. I'm assuming it's going to have to do something with ending the purge or keeping it going and just talk because they keep talking about how it's the economy's good, crime's down, and all the, like how great it is for the United States. So I think it's a really, <laughs> really interesting concept. And the first two Purge movies have been, I mean, the first one's better than the second one. In yes. our, we both agree on that. Yeah. So seeing what's going to happen with this third Purge movie, very much looking forward to it. If you guys didn't know, we do movie nights every single weekend over on the Nikki and Steven live channel. It's We'd a good time. It. Yeah, we have a blast with you guys live streaming, gaming, hanging out, talking. Nikki's got her friggin' joke book. Dad jokes. Joke of the stream every time. So yeah, there should be a link popping up here. There's one down below. If you come hang out and come join us for live streaming, we have a great time. But yeah, here we go. The Purge election year. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Oh shit. <laughs> this motherfucker's just grooving out over here. Purge playlist. I put a lot of thought into it. Oh my god, he's missing an ear. I played a lot of Purge games tonight. We have just one more. Mommy's choice. Mommy, which one of you will survive this year's Purge? <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit! 18 years later, two days before the annual purge, okay? If there's anything that I've learned, besides there being a shit ton of just dumb people, it feels like it's caused people to be crazier and, like, find really creative ways to do purging. Yuck. For the past 20 years, the NFFA has taken a legalized murder to decrease the poor population. Less welfare, less health care, less housing. And that's the dude from the first movie. Yeah. But it's nice to give him a name, Dante. Yeah. Establishment NFFA candidate Minister Edward Jones has been losing ground to wildcard independent candidate Senator Charlie Roan. 18 years ago, Roan was forced to watch the brutal execution of her entire family on Purge Night. One goal in mind, to put an end to the annual holiday. Holy shit. Purge has to come to an end. These, these fuckers. The fathers. Yeah, these fuckers. Is the cunt that close? Ew. We do whatever it fucking takes! I have had it. He needs to trim his eyebrows. Idealistic pigs. It's time to do something about all these cocksuckers trying to dismantle everything we've built. We are going to use this year's purge to do some spring cleaning. I'd like to see you out there, Senator. Fucker. Whatever. The purge. Election year. 
Now America is built upon sacrifice. The revolution all the way. This is wild. Yeah. The fact that it's like a key political issue for those Everybody running. Look alive. Hey, Sergeant. She moves, we move. When I move, you move. Just like that. Oh, sorry. Far less crime. This is crap. Do I have to listen to this? Send me to the principal's office. I can't listen to this anymore. Low income people are killed. It is time to call upon the better angels of our nature. It's like running on the promises of ending the purge when it's been going on for so long. It's wild. And we're like two days away, right? Yeah. Is she going to become the target of the purge? That's what they said. They want to do some spring cleaning. Well, I mean, more than just them. Like, are the people who support the purge going to go try to get her? She ain't got a snowball's chance in a steam bath of winning this thing. She be taking on them old white-haired George Washington wannabe mofos all by herself. She's full of it, too. Nothing will ever change. The senator's going to win. She's going to make real changes, too. You'll see. All she needs is Florida. Florida! All that useless shit. You can't butter a damn bagel correct. <laughs> Hope can lead to a lot of letdown. Tell him, Irish eye. Excuse me, what? <laughs> I'm not paying attention. I'm thinking about waffles and pussy. Okay, <laughs> well, there's that. <laughs> Man has his priorities. <laughs> All right. Who <laughs> touched government officials as ranking 10 on purge night? Yeah, I'll secure a safe house and full security detail. In fact, that we're. Oh, you like that? Purge. They're like, oh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and include senators as people that are allowed to be purged. Just so they can go out and kill her. Oh shit! Fucker! God damn it! He got me. Half price on all masks. Come on inside. Fucker! God dang it! <laughs> Hordes of young adults are arriving from Spain, Denmark, South Africa. They're being called murder tourists. I'm sorry. Are you allowed to do that? Foreigners. Coming to our capital to kill. Murder tourism, the new booming business in our country this year. I feel like you could put those people on the list of dumbasses. Like, why the fuck would you come here during the purge? Like, you just want to murder people? The fuck? Friggin' teenagers. All right, girls, give it up. I won't have to call the police. Get out my face, old man. Give up the candy or I'll have to take it away from you. You touch me and I scream rape, you cocksucking pig. Give it back. Who are you, bitch? Oh, fuck no. You little shit. OG Queen Badass? They called you Beginia Muerte. Little death. I'll give back whatever you stole and apologize. Sorry, mister. Ew. Stop it. How would you be grounded for 10 years? <laughs> what happened to you? You look all whitish now. Wish I met you back in the day. Excuse me. Teenagers, no respect! Girl, uh-uh. Keep it moving. Is she gonna come back and try to purge him? I want men in there. I want men in there. I want a lot of men back there. It looks safe. Chief, if you tell me it's safe one more time, I'm going to throw you down the steps. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> men here. We got a security monitor system in this room. We got eyes and ears on everything. It's nice to see he's got a big time job. It's just me and you, pal. Tell me what you want me to do on there. That guy feels sus. Take care of that boys. Keep an eye on that guy. Done. He feels sus. I'd be concerned about all of them. Yeah. It's like, who got into their pocket to try to get her killed? Right? Joe's Deli. Excuse me? Why are you raising my rates now? Do you, today. Do you know what today is? I can't afford that. What the hell's going on? The damn insurance company. They just raised the premium on my purge coverage. By thousands. If I don't pay it by tomorrow, I have no purge coverage for this store. They can't do that. Yeah, well, they just did it. Shit. I just have to protect this place myself. Oh, great. It's just stuff. It can be replaced. You can't be. Yeah, but what about what you do on purge night, lady? 
That's different, Joe, and you know that. I'm protected. This, this is all I got, guys. This is my slice of the pie. I already love Joe, and I'm very nervous for him. I'd probably feel exactly the same way. Right? It's like... Purge night. 12 minutes until the annual purge. Damn, we're just jumping right into it, huh? Right. It's like, you're going to raise the insurance on me the day before. It's like, yeah, I'm going to do anything I can to save my livelihood. You need at least 30 days. Shit. This is going to be home for the next 12 hours. You need anything, you contact me and me only. Clear? I hate that these guys are stuck outside. Right? <laughs> that makes me upset. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge. That's like such a horrifying thing. No one has been granted special immunity from the purge. No citizen or group will be exempt. A nation reborn. May God be with you all. Dang. And there it goes. This one feels like a little bit of a mix of one and two. Yeah. Where we have like a person locked down and being protected. But at the same time, we're going to get the friggin' chaos of the outside world. You know, you can relax now, right? I'll relax in the morning. Yeah, that dude is definitely suspect. I feel like everyone but Leo is sus in this situation. Right. What made you apply for this position? I like your politics. No. No bullshit. I want a real answer. I lost my son some years ago. I almost did something on Purge Night that would have destroyed a lot of lives. I want this night gone. You have a big problem with how I do things. I take risks. My job is to eliminate risks and keep you alive. You don't make that easy. <laughs> the only way that I can win is to risk everything. And that includes my life. Okay, but if you're not alive, you can't make changes, so you can't do that. They probably won't bother us, okay? <gasps> oh, fucker. Oh, my God. Go, 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 go. Let's move. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, this movie is wild. And a fucking, is it called a guillotine or a yeah. guillotine? Tomato, do, do you do the double L as a Y or just LL? Oh shit. The fucking squid game mask. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. Somebody put in a lot of work to do that. Holy shit. Oh, please stop. Please stop hey, looks like someone needs our services. Let's go. Let's do this. Calm down. Tell me what happened. Damn. Talk about a risky job, dude. They go around providing medical support. Hey, boss. It's me. It's me. Good lord, son. It's purge night. You don't sneak up on black people. Good night, blue cheese. <laughs> good night, blue cheese. You know, I appreciate you coming out here to watch my back, but I'm, I'm good. I got this. I don't want you out here on purge night, son. I got this. I feel like something bad. What the fuck? Oh God. The fuck? <laughs> this is wild, dude. The purge, make it sexy. What? Turn it into a party. She got a bedazzled fucking AK. to find someplace else to go. I got a wicked sweet tooth tonight and I want my candy bar. Then buy it. You don't got the boss to stop me. <laughs> he does. Oh shit, he does. 
<laughs> Holy shit, dude. I already took care of my mom and dad tonight. Oh, goddamn. You're next. I want my candy bar, cocksucker. It's sad that you can't even be safe from your own children right. during the purge. Like, what the hell? We would all get our own safe house rooms. Because <laughs> I don't know. I if hope that my <laughs> children love me more than that. I don't know. It's that time. What? What time? See? All your all are sus. These fuckers. I knew it. Called it. It felt pretty obvious, right? So they just set the record, the surveillance, to make it look like they're there when they're not going to be there. Right. You still doing up here? You're on first floor duty. Help the chat. It's enlightening. Find a bedroom. I got it from here. All right, Leo. Is he going to notice, like, in speed? Right. The skirt. Take a break. Go watch some TV, huh? It's gonna be a long night. So, are, does that mean all everybody outside is <laughs> gonna die? You fuckers! Look at this fucking guy with the f oh my god swastikas and all kinds of bullshit. Oh, this some bullshit. Sniper one, radio check. He's already noticed. Figured that shit out real fast. The call is coming from inside the house. Oh my god. Someone is coming for you. You said you had been on the roof. You have not snipers. Anymore. Not anymore. You mean not anymore? Someone betrayed us. I can't trust anyone. Put on that vest. This is tense. Go. Okay, what the hell is that? That's my little secret. Move. <laughs> oh, shit. Smart. Where the hell is she? Jesus Christ. I mean, if they tear that room apart, they're going to find that trap door real quick. If they know to look on the floor. I mean. Damn! Oh! Ah! Stabby, stabby! Oh! I mean, she's clearly got the right dude for the job to protect. Honestly. Oh, you left the little crease. Yep. Uh, Jesus. Remark may be outside. Repeat. Remark may be outside. Well, you might have just killed your dudes. Psycho. I have never seen so many hateful tattoos on one head. No payment unless we find her. Payment? Yeah, they're obviously hired. Well, I see her! <sighs> Oh, fuckers. Oh, No, fuck. not again, son of a bitch. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Dude, he's so smart. That was fantastic. He is like well prepared for this shit. Holy shit. Is he going to find uh, what's her name in the van to get fixed up? Right. Someone off a triage. His wife shot him because she couldn't stand looking at his face anymore. Great. It didn't make her feel any better like they said it would. Please don't ever shoot me. During I love you. <laughs> Fuck, I won't wait till purge night. <laughs> Rude. Where do we go? Out of the city. There are a lot of threats. There's a lot of death. Oh, fuck. Purge victim removal in this 
Sound like Monty Python. Bring out your dead. I love that everyone's got like an angle now with yeah. like Purge Night. It's like you got a truck. Oh shit. What a fucking drone? Are you for real? You got a truck just rolling around cleaning up all the dead bodies. Like, <laughs> the hell? This is our contribution to the to the purge. Right. We need her alive. So let's find her before the crazies do. Ugh. He looks roasted and toasted. Run. Fast. Yeah, I love that dude with all the sick tattoos, the crazies. Mm-hmm. I'm like... Calling other people crazy? Look at this. Look at this. 35 yards back, 15 yards up. Yeah, Sh buddy! Nice shot. Fuck yo, drone. I'm terrible with distance, so I wouldn't... I'd be like, I don't know. It's up it's there. It's back there. 35 yards, 15 yards. Oh, fuck, dude. I would have said it's on your right, and it's like on your left. <laughs> I would have been like, hey, fuckers, back there. Uh, pirates slash clowns? Oh, fuck. Oh, 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 motherfucker. Oh, um, behind you, fuckers. Oh, goddamn. Oh, goddamn. Creepy ass patriotic masks. Oh, oh my the god. Purge travelers. The purge tourists. Ugh. This is like a fucking nightmare right here. Oh shit! <laughs> Hell yeah! Let's go, Joe! Damn! Come with us if you want to live. Honestly. <laughs> Dude. Do you have more ammo? Is my question. They had the cheat code, unlimited. Oh, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Up or down? Uh. B.A. What in the Mississippi fuck was you doing outside on Purge Night, Senator? Uh, there was an assassination attempt. I can't thank you enough. Mister, I'm sorry, I know you told uh, me. Dixon, uh, tell her wh what she need to do to win, Marcos. <laughs> I'd like to hear it, please. Florida is the key. You have to get the elders. He's not wrong, Joe. What do you think? I don't think you got a damn chance. Oh, shit. Well, I lost my faith in the system a long time ago, Senator. Water. <laughs> Maybe we stay here. Where you going? You going back out there? Joe, you have a first aid kit. Leo, my security was shot. I'm fine. You're not. Sit. Oh, damn. That's a mom voice right there. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> let me see. Let me I see. I know a little bit about first aid. I could help you. Just meanwhile, just fucking... I mean... I would have to imagine that bullet went through. Any stitches? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we can do that here. Right. Clean it up. Patch it up. Come on. Come on. That was a high-powered rifle that shot him. What are you doing on purge night? We're taking a deli against looters because my boss lost his purge insurance yesterday. Yeah, that's something you can look into, Senator. Insurance companies screwing the working man. What's your name, pal? You know what, Mr. Secret Service man? You should be thanking my black ass for helping you instead oh. of interrogating me. His name's Joe Dixon. Joe Dixon, yeah. have I offended you? Oh, shit. They're back. Oh, fuck. Look. She brought another car with her. Two party cars. <laughs> These oh, bitches be crazy. Honestly. The fuck? How'd they get their hands on a Jaws of Life? I don't know, but goddamn, aren't they cold? <laughs> Damn. What the hell is that? The looters I was telling you about. Purge night, Senator, what'd you expect? Hey, you old fuck! 
You spit on the camera lens. Literally spit on the camera lens. Fuck his blast out of this man. I gotta get back out there. No, no, you're not going anywhere. I told your mom I'd look after you. Bandage me up so I can get back out there. We're gonna work as a team to protect this woman. You gentlemen understand what's at stake here, yes? We are gonna purge today. Where's all the other crazy ass people in the area to shoot them? I don't know, but does everybody hit the gym together? God damn. Down. Just point and shoot. Do not shoot me. <laughs> I thought that was a given, but I don't know. I'll take whatever the fuck I want. Bye bye, motherfucker. Night, because here comes your candy girl. I feel like we're in a music video. You need to work on your trash talk a little bit. Girl. Honestly, you need to watch more WWE. Here comes your candy girl. No respect. Children. I mean, Honestly. they just want their candy. Go to the other store. Yeah, but they had an interaction. You knew they were coming back. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, damn. Oh, bitches. Oh, bitches. Oh, bitches. Fuck. Oh, took her boots right off. Oh, Fucking shit. took her boots right off. Wait here. Lady means business. <laughs> Holy shit. shit. Oh, damn. You know, shotguns. You love those shotguns. Oh! <laughs> she bounced! That bitch ba Oh, he, they bounced. They also bounced. Shit. <laughs> Fucking, I love her. She's fantastic. Oh, shit! <laughs> She just shot her face off. <laughs> Do not fuck with her. No. Nope. <laughs> oh shit. Hey guys, I got your message. Lady. Dude, Lainey is amazing. <laughs> Holy shit, it really is you. Where do we go? The van. Go. I'll be with you in a minute. I'll be there. Oh shit, they're still in the back. Joe, come on. You get out of here, kid. I'm staying. <sighs> For some reason, the senator ended up in our neighborhood. You know, Dali. Maybe it's our duty to help protect her. But we built the Dali. Whatever it takes, you and me. Good decision, Joe. Where are we headed? Underground triage center service in the community. It's completely secure. Is anything ever really completely secure? And the purge night. Like, can you trust any of that? This motherfucker's got a helicopter? Yeah, wild. Wild! What the fuck with people? Oh my god! Uh... All the crazies come out on purge night. Riding around in a van on purge night, helping people, it's pretty dangerous. Unwritten purge rules leave the triage units alone. Seriously, Lenny, what the hell are these people? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh my God. Oh my God. Anybody hit? I'm okay. Jesus Christ, Rondo's dead. Oh fuck, He's just dude. a kid. What the fuck was that? They found the center. Seriously, do they have a fucking tracker in the bullet? Jesus. It's survival of the fucking fittest. Who's the fittest? I'm the fittest of them all. I mean, I wouldn't fuck with him. Fuck no, I don't touch him. <laughs> it's like, cool, bro. You're the fit. You're yeah. Abs, whatever you say, sir. Absolutely. I guess he should have pulled the bullet out. I always thought that was uh, pretty standard practice. When you, you have, patch up. when you have a hospital. I mean, he had tools. He could have figured that out. Oh Just, shit! Look at this. <laughs> there will be Fucking no touching axes. of the hair or the faces. The streets will run red with burgundy's blood. 
<laughs> oh my god. Gladiator! <laughs> Where'd you get a trident? <laughs> I mean, you're in a triage van now. Get that shit out of there. Uh -huh. Ah! God damn it! Fucking Punisher John Bernthal! Look! Oh god! Oh! Uh, he stuck his own finger in his fuck! Oh my god! You psycho son of a bitch! Oh god! Have one of them do it! Oh! Honestly, Lainey's right there. Ask her for help. Trace blood. That's how you found. I had no idea that was even... Is that a thing? Are there trace bullets? Is that real? I guess. It's like, put that bullet in your gun and just shoot it somewhere. <laughs> I don't think it works that way, but that would be awesome. So much for leaving the triage van alone, huh? Right. Told you I ain't no saint. This is the right set. We should be good. I didn't know that was a thing. We're not gonna hurt you. Just help my fucking boy. He's gonna die. We help you. You do something for us. <sighs> We're going on foot. And you're going to run into a gang of crips right now. With all your fucking swastika shit on? Go for it, dude. See what happens. You gotta die, motherfucker! Earl, we found the trace bullet, but no sign of the target. Yeah, we're heading back. Oh, there it is. Uh-oh. Yeah! Get up. They have dogs with them, too? Grandy, come in. Dude, purge night. Why even hesitate? Just do your thing. Come in, I need a fucking sit rep. Everybody needs an eyebrow trim today. <laughs> Y'all's eyebrows are terrible. I love how just people are just getting murdered on the streets and Nikki's concerned about their I'm eyebrows. I'm sorry, when they provide their own shade, you know they're too long. <laughs> good people doing good work. I'm in, we'll keep you safe. Or as safe as you can be on purge night. Appreciate it. I am impressed. Thank the volunteers. You get elected, you stop this night, and I don't have to do what I do anymore. Uh, yeah, seems fair. Gotta get back to the deli. What? No, are you fucking crazy? We're safe here. Now, Lainey, you know I'll walk back if I have to. Please don't start doing really crazy dumb shit right now, please. If we run into any problems, we're coming right back here. Deal. Okay, well, they're looking for the van, so bad things are gonna happen anyway. Right. So I this mean, is bad. You're so far into the purge at this point, like... Just stay there and fix it tomorrow. But again, this wouldn't be a really highly entertaining movie if people weren't doing dumb shit getting themselves into trouble. It's like, I could tolerate a certain level of stupid mm -hmm. in movies like this. Yeah. Last movie was just, there was too much of it. Too much. I'm glad I wasn't alone in feeling that way because I felt like I was taking crazy pills. No, it was... There's a lot of silly better. shit that went down. What are you doing here? Oh. Why are you here? Don't start trouble here. Oh, no. All good. It's all good, okay? Just get my weapon. <laughs> doing my job. Senator, it's just a misunderstanding. Let me go back outside. Those are the minister's biggest financial supporters. Is that where the minister is going to be tonight for the purge mass? We believe so. You believe Why do you have all this? You're gonna assassinate the minister tonight, aren't you? Shit. She can't be a part of that. Both sides are trying to assassinate the candidates. I wish I candidates. could be like bullshit. Now where's my waffles and hey, the pussy? I got that one track mind. That boy that lost his mind. This bad. This is gonna be bad. Hope he's okay tonight. That was Joe's death sentence right there. That line. Now I'm concerned even more. The tunnel in the original church has been closed up since the 50s, but we reopened it. 
We're going to walk right through there and into that church without anybody even knowing it. Oh, shit. Who is that? Government soldiers. That's the NFFA eliminating all their enemies this year. We need to evacuate. Is that Big Daddy's crew? Yeah. <gasps> oh, fuckers! So close, these fucking guys, dude. Oh my god, listen to them. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. What a what a what? <laughs> the fucking librarian has killed somebody and is roasting marshmallows. No, she's not is actually she roasting singing, marshmallows. Praying? She is. What was If they assassinate him, he becomes a martyr. We lose. And how do we do that? I don't know. We have to do something. Do what? Do what? Are you willing to risk your life to, to save an assassin? <gasps> oh, fuck. Dude, they're real good with the jumps. Honestly. <gasps> oh, shit. I know where they're taking her. I know why she's still alive. Whatever it is you plan on doing, we're coming with you. I mean, you knew that was going to be the response. You have to. What are you going to do? You can do this alone. I like the music. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Sick ass motherfuckers. Blessed be new founding fathers. Sick ass people. Again, I said it last time, I'm gonna say it again. Doesn't matter who, what, when, where, and how of a person you are, if you participate in shit like this, you are fucking sick. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to get yourself killed? Is that the tunnel for the cathedral? How the fuck do you know about the tunnel? I asked you a question. It's no longer an assassination, it's a rescue mission. These weapons have been cleansed with holy water. Because that makes it better. Instruments of destruction. The fuck? No, 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 no. Release the violence from your darkened hearts. He's gonna stab you next. The power of purging! We must stop her from poisoning our great country. Just pull him in and bite his face. Oh, shit. Blessed be our new founding fathers for letting us purge. <sighs> oh, shit. Hell yeah. Damn, Marco's a sharpshooter over here. Fuck. Kill that guy! Sorry. They gotta keep him alive so she can win. Yeah. She has to be able to, like, put him on blast and reveal what the hell her plan was. Or his plan was. She's alive. Oh, shit. Where's the other crew? This is a church, y'all. Church. <laughs> church. Church. The other crew coming from the other side. Oh yeah. Re-alert. Yeah. Up here. Um, it's fine. Dante got this covered. Okay. Yeah. Oh shit. What was that? I'm in taking care of business. Go cover him. We have her. We have him. Oh shit. 
I can win without this. This is murder. If you do this, you will be no different than them. Go! Go! Listen to her. She knows what she's doing. We don't need to do this. Please. I love how Joe's got the two. He's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. He knows better. I like black people, but I ain't gonna let y'all shoot these white folks. These are our white people. <laughs> Joe. Oh shit. You better fucking win. Yeah, that's the best. It's the best move to keep him alive. You could fucking put him on blast, expose everything that he had to do in, and hope the people believe you. <laughs> I am gonna beat the shit out of you on election day. I'm not as politically correct as a senator. Yeah, buddy! Puke. <laughs> Dick. Good night, blue cheese. Oh god. Ah, oh, uh, shit. Wait! Their no. job was done! Oh! Squishies! Shit. Oh no! No! Fuck, dude. Hand to hand. Oh, that's not hand to hand, that's hand to knife. That's some bullshit. Why do you. Oh my god. Yeah! Yeah! Ooh, no. Don't you know that you're supposed to bring a gun to a knife fight? <laughs> no! Oh, 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 bitch! Bitch! Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah! Oh. Stabby, stabby! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. That's juicy. That is That's juicy. real liquid. Oh, oh, shit. Why so serious? Yes. Let's put a smile on your face. Oh. Are we down or we're going to come back? Okay, we're going to come back. I don't know what oh, that God. I don't know what that knife's called. But like a knuckle like a knife, knuckle, yeah. fist knife, I don't know, that thing is fucking badass. And he uses it really well. Bye garbage man. Piece of trash. And he just landed on it. Oof. You should smile more. Oh my god. Trim those fucking brows, bro. I think he's good. I think he's doesn't matter anymore. No! Marcos! Somebody please do something! Oh, god damn! Ay, ay, ay. We gotta get you somewhere, okay? You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be fine. That's what's important. She's gonna make sure, right, Senator? Not Joe and Dante. Like, fuck, I dude. This. I got this. <laughs> Shit. Where goes? Breathe, Joe. Breathe. Bubba, no. Two months after the annual purge. I'm getting word right now that the senator has also taken Florida. Puts her well over the 270 electoral votes for the win. Marcos was right. Get Florida. Joe would be really happy. I'll catch you later, kid. NFFA supporters 
are reacting violently to this defeat. They are burning cars, breaking, breaking windows, windows looting. Shit. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Easily my favorite Purge movie so far. I mean, the first the first one, like, holds a special place because, like, you know, the first one. But I really enjoyed this one over the second. I think this is my favorite because the first one, very self-contained. I think, obviously, every movie... It was still and, really scary. Yeah. I think every movie demonstrated how dumb people are during The Purge. Word. There's a lot of really bad decision-making, a lot of just... And I'm not talking about the people who go out and purge and do all kinds of, like, sick rituals. There's just dumb decisions that are made. Yeah. Every movie had that. Church. I feel Sorry. like... <laughs> <laughs> the, the plays in this movie made a lot more sense under the circumstances yes. than the second one. I think it just worked better. I think the acting was a million times better. The dialogue was better. It, it, I think from top to bottom, this just crushes anarchy. I think one is still close to election year, but this is easily my favorite. Yeah. Just because you got everything in this. Agreed. You got bits of what make one really good, and you got bits of what make two really good. Right. In terms of, like, all three movies are still highly entertaining. It's just, I think this is the best one. And just seeing the stories and seeing this actually happen on an election year, I thought was fascinating. And just seeing the politics play out and knowing right off the jump, like, all of her security people were sus. Yeah. With the exception of Leo. Yeah. I'm happy we have a name now with Leo. And it's like nice to see Leo Sergeant in a... Sergeant yeah. or no name for a while. It's nice to see him in a really kind of strong position of power after that whole second movie. Gives, and, it gives his life purpose. Yeah. And seeing Dante have a really big moment also, which, like, seeing Dante and Joe die is very sad. But again, it's one of those expectations with a movie like this. Not everybody is going to survive. Everyone it's shouldn't expected survive. expected to have... Somebody needs to, to be cut. And I thought Joe was obvious because of the way the story was playing out with Marcos and that Them whole situation. having like, the store together and, you know, he was calling him son right. and... It was essentially a passing of the torch and he takes over the store. Partners. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I just... Some of the ritual kill scenes in this movie were insane. I mean, the fact that a group of people set up a giant guillotine... Like, that was nuts. That was absolutely insane. Is it guillotine or guillotine? Uh, tomato, tomato. Pick, pick <laughs> however you want to say it. Um, in jujitsu, we call it a guillotine. So, it's just... Um, but it's like the, the swinging trap with the giant axe... I love, so, but I like, love the commentary I mean, yeah, from the guys that set it up. They're like, oh, no, yeah. oh, good luck out there. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're not actually, like, out there killing with their hands. They're setting up traps and Watching observing. Watching it all take place. <laughs> I mean, they're oh. sick motherfuckers, too. Like, those yes. people are sick as hell, too. Oh, my God, but it's like big ass. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. that was insane. And just, like, the girls from the store who were trying to rob him with the candy bar. Bitches. Like, Bitches. that whole, like... Having their cars decked out like that, they have bedazzled 8Ks. Like, all of it was just, I mean, so outrageous. They, like, do they have, like, Victoria's Secret Purge? I mean, who knows? Honestly, fucking all, right, walking down the street with the big giant angel wings. Yeah, just, all these years into the purge, I'm sure everyone's trying to capitalize on selling something to go purge in. Selfie! Yeah. I mean, their masks were pretty great. Hers yes. was, like, kiss me with the yeah. ugly. That was, that was pretty solid. Girl, no. But, With an attitude like that, no one wants yeah, to kiss you, no. okay? And you killed your parents? Yeah. You're a terrible person. Yeah. It's just absolutely bonkers. And just the way... <laughs> you were beautiful, but your attitude makes you very ugly. Yeah. It's all about the personality. Word. It could make or break. Honestly. Lot, so. Sorry. That's, go ahead. Nikki's got the whole package. I love her. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> I... Yeah, just overall, I, I thought this was so much better than the second one. I thought it was better than the first, but I feel like one and three are, like, up here, and, like, two is, like, down here more. Yeah. Even though I see two on the TV, I'm going to watch it just because these Purge movies are just outrageously awesome anything, times. I, I feel like anything that we watch now, we're like, ooh, I want to watch that again. 
Dude, because like it's special to watch it with you guys. Yeah. So like, I'm gonna relive it. Every time we watch a new movie, I feel like it pops up on the cable. Every like, every time. time. Every time. Like Equalizer Two was on TV the other day. Yes. Like hello. That's so, and it's free, it's of wild. course. Yeah. After we rented it, and now it's free. Yeah. But I love the concept of this movie, Election. Of course, genius. Yeah. That totally fits. And of course, you're going to change the rules to assassinate another, you know, candidate. Candidate. Yeah. Thank you. That's the word. Candidate. Perfect. Yeah, I, I like that aspect of it because again, it just shows. It's like a different wrinkle to the already st finding creative ways to tell stories within the purge probably are a little challenging. Figuring out ways to make it creative and interesting going three movies into this series and I know there's a couple more, but like finding ways to make it more creative is interesting and one of the big thoughts is like what does happen on election year? How do these politicians who are running for president against each other handle the situation? Obviously, they had rules up to this year where you couldn't yeah, touch you couldn't, anyone at a certain level. Yeah, no and elected officials. The fact that the current person in charge is like, yeah, we're going to eliminate that. But hey, bro, that opens you up to be killed too. Like, hello? And just the fact that we had these crazy marks hired to capture her and they were going to do this ritual in the church. And like, again, anyone who participates, I don't care where you come from and I don't care who you are. You participate in shit like that. You are fucking nuts. You are sick. And it's just the Tell purge. Tell them, babe. Tell them. <laughs> the purge is, like, the way they present this is interesting because someone compared it to Halloween for adults early in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the one funny thing about Halloween is, like, whatever you dress up as, it's, like, your true colors coming through. Like, oh, I want to dress like this. And it's, like, people are, like, themselves turned to, like, a thousand on Halloween. I'm sorry, kind but, of. um... You know, like no, I was no, a Jedi, a, a slutty like, nurse. Come on, I was a slutty strawberry shortcake one year. Yeah, that, I mean, not really the thing. <laughs> but it's like the purge. Like if you're standing out in the middle of the street, like one dude talking about how I'm the cream of the crop or whatever he was screaming. What was he screaming? I'm the fittest of them all. Or yeah, some shit. like, like if you're out there doing that with like blood covered all over you and you're killing people. I mean, I don't know if we could be friends anymore. <laughs> Or like in movie two with the crazy girl on the roof, just shooting her gun in the air. Like, like I don't want to be friends anymore, you bitch. I'm like, can I trust you? <laughs> no. Like, hello? Seriously. After you see these people, you're like, I'm not leaving you with my kids anymore, you fucker. What I mean, is? And, and like in, in two, with the friggin' sister kills the other sister because they found her cheating. Like, like the one girl it's killed one her parents. To, one way to take care of it. Yeah, what is It's wrong? like... It's just, uh, like, the stories and some of the stuff that goes down in this movie is just absolutely nuts. And it's so entertaining. It's so much fun to watch. I think it's an amazing movie concept. Yeah, and I mean, definitely deeper meaning. Let's not forget that we all understand what the f is actually going on. Yeah, like, I sure. censored myself. Hmm. Demonetized anyways. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think we said enough during the movie that it won't matter. But, like, what else could you do with these movies other than just, like, show just, like, right. mass murder and violence? That's why the story does have an impact on it. Yeah. And the fact that they even threw in the purge tourists, they showed up and they, like, decided to purge, come to the States to purge, like, okay. I mean, whatever floats your boat, I guess. And then they got fucking wiped out. Yeah. That was nuts. Just... One-way ticket. Yeah. Hey, Seriously, <laughs> for real. But I like that. I feel like that should be illegal. Yeah, I agree. But they even mentioned it during like a news broadcast talking about the travelers and how it's become like a boom for the economy because of how many people are. Yeah, it's not it's like just, you need to rent a hotel room. Yeah, I mean you're not but coming travel, back. But the travel, I guess. What else? I, it's just it, it. If it's a United States special day, like you shouldn't be allowed to just show up here and murder people and leave. Mm -mm. <laughs> that just seems, mm, I don't know, a little sus. But yeah. again, if there's money involved, it's going to happen. So, Money yeah. drives everything. Yeah. I think easily my favorite Purge movie. I would go three, one, two for sure. Same. Okay. Yeah. So. Well. You one, like, I one, mean, if one's one, your three, favorite. One, three, two. One, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first one I like is. Ethan Hawke, you I know? Mean, Ethan Hawke's great. Ethan Hawke's a good dude. Ethan Hawke is I mean, I don't know him personally. Yeah. I mean, he's... All... I haven't watched a bad Ethan Hawke movie, I don't think. Oh, God. 
I haven't seen all of them, but off the top of my head, I don't think I've seen any that I haven't enjoyed. So. Yeah, good point. He's a great actor. But yeah, I, I thought his his movie was fantastic. Yeah. So. Same. Any other thoughts? No. All right, y'all. Leave all your comments. We'll catch you guys later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.